Hey guys, welcome back to the TSM settings and creating a profile part of my TSM for newbies classic guide. First off, let's open Trade Skill Master's interface again, and we'll go to the settings tab. Now we're going to start off creating a new profile. Now we're in the settings tab and under the profile section here, uh, you will see I have a few profiles already created, but you should just have one titled default. Now don't worry about that one and come down to the section titled create new profile. Now in the field below, it says enter profile name. Just click on it and type the name you wish, or you can just title it like I have, which is the newbie guide profile. Doing this will just give you a brand new clean profile with nothing on it. As you can see, it's completely blank, which is great for starting fresh and learning. Now for our next step, let's go back to the settings tab. We are gonna go in over and touch base on the many TSM options we have on the left-hand side here uh, in the settings tab in TSM. Now I'm going to be frank with you, many of these settings I don't mess with or, or never had or needed to mess with, right? But we will go over them quickly just uh, to be thorough. So that being said, this might take a bit of time so bear with me. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to start from the, the to uh, top down. So the general tab is your basic tab for changing your price source and creating profiles. It's pretty straightforward. Now, while we were here, we've already created a blank uh, profile, right? Over here at the top, you'll see this filtered group item list based on the following price source, right? Uh, you we'll see probably in here DB market. Now we need to change this to be a usable function and for our price source uh, so that we can use this in classic. Uh -huh. So click on the DB market and then rename it to ATR value. Okay, now make sure you have it, uh, the ATR and then capital V A L U E, okay. This is going to be using the auctionator data, like I told you before, uh, when we do a full scan in our pricings for the operations. Now, I'll get into that later in the operations uh, section of, of the series. So just make sure that you change this or TSM won't work. All right, so let's head over to the tooltips uh, now. Okay, so just click on the tooltip settings over here at the left. Uh, this is going to be really easy to change and explain. So most of these uh, tooltips will be wrong, considering the fact that they rely heavily on the DB market price source. We don't have any data from to work. Um, so disable all of them, but the ones that I have selected here, which is the group name, uh, the full destroy tooltip, and the full inventory. Okay, and let's explain those real quick. The group name helps you know what group an item is attached to when we go and create groups. Okay, Very helpful for, for organization. Uh, full destroy helps you judge what an item is worth when it's broken down, meaning if milling, prospecting, and disenchanting materials. Very helpful if you're into that kind of uh, gold making. Uh, and the full inventory will just help you know where all of your items are so that you can keep track of things organized uh, or find a pile of materials you didn't know you have lying around on an alt, okay? So let's move into the accounting tab. Okay, the accounting tab, just don't touch anything here. There's no reason to change anything. It's pretty simple. Uh, just keep it like it is. Now let's go down to the appearance tab real quick. Um, I have never messed with the appearance tab. Okay, but you can get pretty fancy with it. You can change uh, your TSM UI to a preset option um, that they have set here for you if you want to change up the colors. Or down below, you can actually change every aspect of the UI colors using the boxes below. So if you'd like a hot pink TSM or a blood red TSM UI, uh, feel free to go wild here because it's, that's what you can do with it. It's really fun here. So let's go over to the auctioning here. Now the auctioning, the only thing I think people would like to change here would be the auction sale sound, which is right down here. Now, if you click on it, it'll give you a drop down of choices. Now, 
I have it set to the cash register so that it goes cha-ching, you know, when I sell something. But if you want to get more creative, just go down and start clicking on the amounts. They have a lot of them here, so it's it's just pick what it, whichever you want, right? So the destroying tab. TSM has this handy little tool called TSM Destroy. It's for destroying items in a more organizing uh, way. But now for this to work, you must have a profession with a destroy option, like prospecting, milling, or generally used for disenchanting as well. It won't show up otherwise. But if you do have one of those professions, you can make a macro and it'll be slash TSM destroy. A window will pop up if you have things in your bag or items or materials that can be destroyed. Now in this setting tab, you can tweak options to enhance this feature. So let's start from the top and work our way down. Okay, the general options up here are fine, personally, with the way they are. But if you do a lot of low-level instance farming uh, and get a lot of BOP blue gear from bosses, clicking the uh, Include Soulbound items here will be very helpful if you're an enchanter. Okay, it'll just make sure it adds it to your destroy window. Um, now, to the disenchanting options, okay, you can now set a max quality if you wish to be able to be considered for disenchanting. Now, I personally believe that rare is just a, your perfect setting, so that if you do get an epic to drop, you can deal with that manually, right? Whether or not it's a BOE or a BOP item, okay? Now, underneath your quality, uh, you can actually have here called a value limit, meaning if an item can be destroyed and it's mats you get don't reach a certain price that you have set here uh, it won't be eligible for disenchanting or destroying okay and it's probably better off sold on the auction house or vendored okay meaning the materials aren't worth as much as you can get for it on the auction house or the vendor okay this is a more advanced option and not really meant for newbies um, so this is probably best left at zero since it's easier to look at your tooltip information that we set up earlier and make a judgment call based off of the, the destroy price, okay? So if you mouse over an item, uh, you'll get a window like this as, as a tooltip. So the TSM general information, and it has this disenchant value, right? And then you can see at the bottom it has an auction value. Well, you could just make a judgment call whether or not that item is worth posting to the auction house or to disenchant, right? Now, you'll see that the items that you can get from this item are varied. You can get a 5% uh, chance at large uh, radiant shard, or a 75% chance at dust, or a 20% chance at nether essence. So you won't possibly get a full 3 gold by disenchanting it. But anyways, it's just better to look at your tooltip for now as a newbie uh, versus uh, messing around with this value here. So just leave it at 0 copper. Okay, so now to the ignore tab. It pretty much what it, uh, is what it is, right? Uh, you can specify items you don't wish to be disenchanted. Even if they are, are meet the, the requirements to be disenchanted. Uh, so this is great, for instance, if you have the option include soulbound items uh, checked. But let's say you have gear for an off spec or items you swap to constantly that you use for your secondary spec or something, right? Or your main spec. Uh, it's best to add those items to this ignore list so you don't accidentally destroy them. Now to do that, when you type a slash TSM destroy and uh, a, little, a little window pops up. Now I'm a level 1 so I don't have enchanting on this character, but I'll put in a little screenshot of it. Uh, there'll be a little tiny eyeball next to the item in the list right and just click on the eyeball and it will add it like this item here to the ignore list right really helpful so you don't accidentally destroy some of your pve or pvp gear okay so let's go into the mailing tab real quick okay for the mailing tab this is pretty much already set to what you need it to have it's all set to default it's pretty good so you can just leave it as it is uh same with the custom sources uh this is definitely more for advanced users and personally I've only messed with it a few times, and I even ran away from it. So um, just leave this as it is. Okay, the crafting options are kind of fun to play with in retail. 
but personally, I don't use uh, many professions to make my gold. But if you want to venture down the road of learning crafting functions in auctioning operations, uh, just be sure when you use the uh, same you're using the same price source, right? The ATR value here instead of DB market. Uh, since we're using auctionator as our price source now. But this is a little bit more advanced than I'd like to get into for a, T a TSM newbie guide. So let's move on uh, for now from this. Okay, okay for macros. Now this is going to be um, pretty simple and easy to set up. Uh, they're really helpful for mostly posting your auctions to the auction house, but can be used in other situations uh, like the, des the destroy feature as well. Okay, But by creating a macro, you can now have a modifier key like alt, control, or shift, plus your scroll wheel either up or down to function as a bound action. And bound actions are ones that are set up here above that you have selected. So like the my auctions cancel, the auction post and cancel, or the destroy, destroy next button. Okay, so uh, I will show you how this works when we get more into the posting auctions later in the series, but this is a super helpful feature. So what you want to do basically here is choose which one you want, either up or down scroll wheel, choose the modifier you enjoy, and then just make sure you hit this update existing macro to make sure that the it's already set for you for later. Okay. Okay, so the br browse and sniper tab. Um, now TSM does have a sniper tab, which basically scans the auction house, uh, looking for cheap items based on uh, a value, uh, in a way for you to like find items that are posted really cheaply and then you can resell them for profit. Now, personally, I find this a boring way to make gold. Uh, but if you find camping the auction house, uh, fun, uh, just make sure that when you're here, uh, up at the top, you'll see this market value price source. Uh, just change it from DB market to ATR value because we're using the auctionator add-on now for our price source, not the DB market. Okay. Okay, and the vendoring tab. Uh, just like with any other thing that we are going to be changing our price sources, just come up up here, up here to the top and um, make sure that you have the DB market replaced with ATR value. Okay. Well, that's the in-depth look at all of the TSM uh, settings sections, uh, plus creating a new profile. I know that was a little lengthy, but I'd rather teach you guys everything I can uh, so you're more informed when you're using Trade Skill Master. And if you have questions about these uh, settings, you can always come back and rewatch it. Uh, the next part of the series, I will be going over how to import a TSM profile and where to get one. So thanks for watching, and until next time.